X-ray gum. How does this work, Professor Quack? Oh, that's my new and improved beef flavor X-ray gum. I'll explain how it works. You take a stick out, put it up against something beefy, move it around, and then you can see the yucky stuff inside. The best part of all is, when you are done, you can chew the gum. It actually has a very refreshing, beefy flavor. You know, four out of five dentists prefer x-ray gum for their patients who need x-rays. A duck needs his fiber. Now, if you don't mind, Mr. Utterly, I'm going to need to use this x-ray gum to take a look at those four stomachs of yours. This isn't going to hurt, is it? Because I get kind of dizzy when I think about pain. In fact, just saying the word pain makes me want to... Oh, Professor Quack, your x-ray gum works perfectly. I can see everything inside Mr. Utterly's gut. I found the note. Once I find that key, I can look for that control panel it goes into. Then, William the Kid's milky weapon of destruction will be disarmed. It looks like I need to find that key. egg-shaped container, Professor Quack. This is a little gadget I call the Spy Putty. What you do is open the cute little egg container and spread the putty on whatever you want to make a copy of. Press down and then peel the putty off. You have a perfect copy. Hmm, that looks rather silly. I know what you're thinking. You think that the Spy Putty looks a lot like that silly stuff they sell in toy stores. What you don't know is that I thought of it first. Those duplicitous duplicators stole my idea! I'm sure glad this spy gadget vending machine doesn't have a no deposit, no return policy. Is this coin really a spy gadget, Professor Quack? Ah, that's the spy trap. Let me explain how it works. It looks like an ordinary coin, like you might find in the street. But if you need to trap three or more bad guys, the coin explodes and a net shoots out. It traps the naughty spy enemies. Nice, huh? Heads I win, tails they lose. I'm going to lose my appetite if I keep this up. What handsome cufflinks! Are they gadgets as well, Professor Quack? Those are the suction cufflinks. I am very proud of them. They are tiny suction cups that allow you to climb across non-porous metal surfaces. The perfect fashion accessory for the well-dressed spa. Mmm, that was a tasty one. What's a jar of trinkets going for these days? Normally, sir, they're 20 drachmas, but for you, how about 50? 
Sounds good to me. I'll take it. There you go, sir. Why, thank you. Pardon me, sir, but just where do you think you're going? On board. Sir, you are obviously making a little joke. No one but no one is allowed to go on board the SS Deadweight without a gold-edged, wax-sealed, expensively embossed, handwritten invitation. And do you have one of these, sir? Not as such. Then I'm afraid, sir, that you should make like a plane in the Bermuda Triangle and get lost. I can gather information about the deck party with this. Here's where I keep my... Here's where my notes go. I... I noticed that there was a party going on down on that big ship at the docks. But I understand you can only go if you were invited. That is true. In fact, I am going as soon as I get off work. Oh, so you got an invitation. I certainly did. It is really a fancy schmancy one too. Would you like to look at it? Why, yes. I would love to look at it. My life needs a little direction right now. I think I'll buy that steering wheel. Let me wrap that up for you. Ah! 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 Oh, forget it. Oh, I almost forgot. This is not just the local trinket emporium. It is also this island's maritime museum, and I'm not allowed to let anyone touch the exhibits. Not you again! How many times do I have to tell you? This is a private party, and without an invitation, you are not allowed to go on board. Sheesh! A nerve of something. You'd think they would. Yay! Let me see that. Signed, Russian Blue. Oh, sir, we are ever so honored to have you on board with us today. Please, feel free to come and go as you wish. Why, thank you. How gracious of you. What a weasel. I trust you will have an enjoyable visit. And if there is any way in which I can kiss up some more, sir, I trust you will let me know. But of course. So, this is the deck party. Before I join the festivities, I should let Monkey Penny know I'm here. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Hi, Spy Fox. How's the mission progressing? I just made it onto the SS Deadweight. I'm going to take a look around. Good. Keep your eyes peeled for clues as to where William the Kid's secret fortress is. If Kid's fortress is so secret, how come we know about it? We're spies, Spy Fox. It's our job to know. And we are good at our jobs. Spy Fox out. Hello. You must be... Russian Blue. Noted socialite and attractive owner of the SS Deadway. My name's Fox. Spy Fox. Would you care to dance, Miss Blue? I would love to, Mr. Fox. But there is only one dance on this planet I will dance to. And that is... The Tango. I love the Tango. Do you know why I love the tango, Mr. Fox? That funky beat? Because it takes two to tango. Interesting. I've never done the math on that. I can gather information about Russian Blue with this.
What do you think you're doing? Nothing. Just looking. You stop that now. Pardon me. I thought one of the pages was about to fall. Excuse me, but you're in my way here. Excuse me, I thought I left something here. I've never been involved in a waltz napping before. This is my safe. Quit. 